How you doing, family? Per usual, black love, black pride, and black power. Um, let's check those egos at the play button. Cancel those subscriptions to white, uh, white Supremacy Weekly. Let's like, comment, and subscribe to my shit. And as usual, we have to know ourselves, to love ourselves, to love our people. Um, right now, we are going to be talking about black women and femininity. That part. Um, this is a toughie because it's hard to, it's really difficult to talk about this and get people to really truly understand the depth of what you're saying because a lot of times if they're not a dark skinned black woman, they're not going to understand because they don't have the exact same struggle as a dark skinned black woman do when it comes to this idea of femininity. It is uh, basically, it's to a point where black women especially, not exclusively, but especially dark-skinned black women are not allowed to be feminine. We have to be hard, we have to be jaded, we have to be strong, we have to be tough, this, that, and the third. And because we're seen that way by society, we're always put in predicaments, situations, this, that, and the third, because the environment around us sees us a certain way, that environment responds to us a certain way and reacts to us a certain way, and thus having us having to be a certain way just to survive these these realities it's a vicious cycle but black women you are allowed to be feminine and being feminine doesn't mean being a little bitch being feminine does not mean being weak being feminine does not mean um you know you know being dependent or being docile or all these things that's not what femininity means to be feminine is to have that womanly grace and presence about everything that you can do. You can be feminine and strong. Serena Williams is feminine and strong. You, that is clearly a woman. Her personality, her this and that, her mannerisms are very feminine, but she is also, she's fit, she's athletic, she's this, that, a third. It's okay to be both. There is a such thing as both. You can be feminine in the way you do, quote unquote, um, male gender roles and activities. For example, uh, you can be feminine in the way you take out the trash. You know, taking out the trash isn't necessarily just masculine, but you know, the way you walk to take out the trash and how you do or whatever, even how you tie the bag or whatever, that can be, it can be that feminine energy behind it. You know, just like, just like, uh, this is, I think this is a great example. Back in the day, my mom used to wear my dad's clothes all the time, especially while she was pregnant with me. She would wear his clothes. Now, mind you, my dad is a 6'4", you know, kind of basketball kind of build, you know, man. And my mom at the time was like 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, um, a little, she was pregnant, so she was a little on the chunky side, but, you know, she was a woman. And basically, even though her entire outfit is my dad's jeans, it's my dad's shirt, <laughs> and if she could fit it, it'd probably be my dad's shoes, but not my dad's shoes. You know, she'd be wearing my dad's clothes, but she would still look like a woman. She would still look very pretty. She would still be very feminine. She'd have her hair done, etc. And she'd have that natural femininity about her. I found myself, you know, I find myself from time to time doing the same thing. I'll throw, I wear my homeboy's clothes all the time. You know, when my little brothers get bigger than I am, I'm going to be wearing their clothes too. I wear my father's t-shirts, jeans, this and the third as well. And even though I'll have on masculine clothes, the way I carry myself, so this face, <laughs> you know, and everything else will still be very feminine. I'll still look like a girl. I was, um, and I'll still have that warm feminine energy. Now, half of my pants, especially like my joggers, this and the thirds, I got them from male sections and you know, at stores and stuff, don't ask me how, but just know I ain't paying. Um, when I'll see men walking around in my exact same clothes from hoodie to the sweats, and I, I, I you know, I hit Hollywood Boulevard in a pair of my high top Reeboks, you know, um, my little, my little joggers or whatever that had the little things on. Where, where are they? I wish I could have pulled them out. I think I just, cause they're, they're more, it's too hot right now. Every, every day it's been at least 90 degrees for the past three weeks out here so of course I tucked all of my joggers and stuff away in the clothes that are not in season for me to wear right now because it's never going to be cool enough for me to wear them until late September but the point is 
you know, these are these are men's pants, like straight up from the design of them, the outline or whatever. These are not boyfriend jeans. These are not female design men's pants. These are men's pants. These are high top Reeboks with the pump on the front. You know, it's a big old, you know, Nike hoodie, you know, and I sometimes I would have my snapback on that says no thyself or whatever. But I throw on my hoop earrings and a little bit of lip chap. And I would still find myself being approached by men, et cetera, et cetera, because I had a very feminine way of carrying myself. And that doesn't mean I have to super strut and in vogue, which I do do from time to time anyway, but that wasn't necessary. Um, I was wearing masks and clothes, but I still had that feminine energy. You know, um, being being feminine is that it's that appeal. It's that it's that what makes that a woman a woman. It's which you can turn it up, you can turn it down, but you don't ever have to fully turn it off because you're a woman. You know, just even if we look at even if we look at um, I'm trying to find an example of like a badass. Well, the problem is we don't have very many black women examples, but if you look at the old cartoon of Storm, the cartoon uh, Marvel of Storm back when she wasn't a mulatto, um, but she was a Nubian woman from Africa and whatnot, and if you'd watch the cartoons and you'd see this woman out there, fierce, fabulous, just slaying, commanding lightning on people and shit, just, ha, 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 you know, out there slaying life, but it was very feminine. You know, it's powerful, it's strong, it's it's this, it's that, but it's still feminine. That's still a feminine, you know, depiction of a woman. So this idea of um, that black women, especially dark-skinned black women, can't be feminine, it's not true. But being feminine, our idea of what feminine is, is oftentimes distorted. It's not about being weak. It's not about being docile. It's not about needing somebody to take care of you and you can't do anything. It's not about being all extra prissy and whatnot. It's not about wearing a whole bunch of pink. It's not about, you know, only wearing stilettos. It's about that energy within you that you can turn up, turn down, turn on, and turn off. That that exudes and you can normally use it for most times to your advantage you need to get something done you need to do this and that whatnot ladies you know what i'm talking about but it's okay we don't have to be so jaded we don't have to be so hard we don't have to be so um yeah i think jaded and hard are the right words because again you know i'm very strong i'm a very strong woman you know i got my <laughs> you know definition and whatnot you know um but i'm also strong in spirit strong in will and strong in power but i'm still very feminine you know i still know when to vet my lashes you know you want to switch up my voice and what looks to give when and where and i can still do all of that and still maintain my strength still maintain my power this and the third you just gotta know how to work and men you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you, you gotta do your part to allow it so that we can be in positions where we're allowed to be feminine. But I'm gonna wrap it up at that. I was really trying hard to stay directly on the topic of black women and femininity because this one really ties into the video um, that I'm gonna do uh, probably next. But I wanted that to be a separate video so I can have a separate amount of time for it. So we're gonna just chop it at that. Um, as usual, black love, black pride, and black power. Where's that finger at? Um, cancel your subscriptions to White Supremacy Weekly. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, um, as well as check those egos at the play button. And finally, know yourself to love yourself to love your people. All right, love you, fam. Peace.